mucus relief. Bottoms up. Make sure to get your chaser. Ah. Alright, so what is going on you guys? Today we are going to be doing some more Clash Royale on my channel. I have not done this for I think about a, about a couple months, but uh, I got better uh, recording equipment for mobile on Android, so I thought I would do it again because I really like Clash Royale. I really, I really like playing it and I really wanted to upload more of it to my channel. And uh, as a lot of you guys know, I've been very sick recently, that's why I haven't been able to upload The Purge like I was planning to uh, last week. But hopefully we're going to get it out this week, by the end of this week. Uh, you'll just see if we end up doing it. It'd be really cool if we do. So, uh, fingers crossed that uh, I start feeling alright and everybody comes together to uh, get this thing going. But anyways, today we are going to be doing some Clash Royale. I know a lot of you guys don't know what Clash Royale is and uh, most of you guys are for GTA content. But for the people that are for Clash Royale and know what it is, uh, it is a really fun game. And uh, I've had a lot of fun with it uh, lately, especially because... I've been doing very good for myself at level 9, uh, almost level 10 as you guys can see in the top left there, and uh, my highest trophy count is actually 3527, and uh, I'm at 3510 right now, so in one match, no matter if I, uh, who I face, if he's below my trophy count or above my trophy count, I will uh, break my my highest trophy count if I win this next match, so that's very cool. I also uh, wanted to show you guys uh, my all-time favorite deck in the game right now, especially because I only have uh, one legendary card, which is the Lob Hound, I just, I'm not really an air guy, so I don't really do air decks, but that's my only legendary, just the Lob Hound, and then I got all these crazy things, not unlocked. Infernal Dragon would be kind of cool to have it as a legendary, as, uh, seeing as I have the uh, <coughs> Lob Hound. And I am a free-to-play player. Uh, uh, the, the reason that I, I do as well as I do at 3500 as a, as a level 9 is mostly just because I've uh, basically mastered this giant skeleton based deck that I really really love and uh, it's basically derived from a uh, deck that uh, Gaming with Molt, if you guys know who that is, uh, created a while back and he loves a giant skeleton. Giant skeleton is one of his favorite cards in the game and it's my favorite card in the entire game. I love it so much and it's just such a great defense. And such a cool offense that throws people off off uh, off guard, and it's a great tank unit uh, that many people uh, don't see very often played. But it just so it works so well against uh, troops that uh, are ground, uh, not ground, but uh, troops that go after other troops. If you guys know what I'm saying, it, like they'll get distracted by stuff compared to like the hog rider who goes for defenses and uh, uh, towers. So uh, it's so perfect for like princes, pekkas, uh, dark prince. That entire deck, that deck's like over when I have this thing and it's very satisfying to use against three musketeers and sparkies as you could imagine because those are some annoying cards but anyways you guys uh, let's open some of these chests really quick uh, I am a free to play player I don't know if I said that already so uh, yeah, I think I did say that so I really value these chests <laughs> and uh, oh sorry about that let me get going all right and uh, let me just request I think I'm requesting hog riders right now it's it's pretty hard. All my cards are pretty much at level ten, and then my rares and epics are like the highest they're going to be for a while. But as soon as I hit level ten, I don't think I'm getting to level eleven, and my cards are going to take a while to get to level eleven too. But let's just start opening a chest and uh, let's just donate some. I'm hoping to get to level ten very soon, and uh, yeah, we're going to do some uh, tournaments later uh, in this series, this Clash Royale series on my channel because I do plan to upload a lot more of this just because I got all the software I wanted to get. Not the software; it's pretty much hardware. That I've wanted to get for uh, uploading Clash Royale to my channel and just mobile games in general. Uh, I'm still figuring out how to get audio uh, for myself because you guys obviously can hear the audio in the game, but I can't because it's going through Malgado. But uh, I think I have to do something with my monitor to figure it out. But anyways, you guys, uh, we're gonna hop into a match and see if we can pull a W. So let's do this. All right, so we've hopped into a match. We are going against Claymore from Goat. Good luck, my friend. Oh, he's a level 11. Great. <laughs> Actually, I don't go against many level 11, so this is actually going to be awful. I'm going to play mostly defense. The only way I can pull a W here is if I go for the uh, uh, the pushes that require me. Okay, wait. Let's take advantage of this. All right. Might be a little quiet here. Oh, he zap kills my crap. Oh, this might work. Oh, he has a... Mmm. Mmm. This is no good. So he is a Lava Hound. 
the thing, the biggest weakness of my deck is uh, air units. So that's not good for us. We're about to get screwed over right now. So, as you guys can probably already tell, I only have three things that target air. The fire spirit, no, ice spirit, the uh, minion horde, and the arrows. So, seeing as he has a lava hound, uh, we could be in some trouble here. Hopefully we can kill that princess with my, uh, my dude. We're going to try to freeze these spirits. Alright, we're not doing too bad. We have more damage than he does. Uh, we can start another push here, I believe. Which should be good. Oh man, those lava hat pups do a lot of damage to my tower. Level 3 lava pups. Alright, uh, we're not totally screwed here. The best thing to do with a lava hound deck, uh, with my deck anyways, is to push for the 3 crown. I know it sounds crazy, but it works out a lot of the time. I think I actually showed a replay of something like that happening. Alright, he's going to go for that. He already used his princess, but his zap, I think, kills my... Oh, sorry about the little voice crack. I am a little bit sick, but I think his zap totally... Oh, he's got a... <gasps> I've never gone against the Inferno Dragon. This is screwed. Please kill it. Kill it. Oh, my God, his zap. All right, boys, we're going to call it GG here because his zap kills my freaking minions, dude. That's so effed. What in the world, dude? Oh, his zap. That's not meant to happen. His zap murders my minion uh, horde. It's meant to, at a, a, a even level playing field, it's meant to just uh, uh, damage them, not kill them. So, um, we're pretty screwed here. We can definitely go for a crown at least, like right now. Let's just go all in. We gotta get a crown. I'm going for it. Bro, oh, you didn't expect that, did you? See, I know this deck very well, especially against cards that I play. So, they can't really touch me in that front. Oh, we zapped. We're in, we're in business, dude. Watch what we're going to do here. Check this out. We're going to go here. And here. Oh, no, no, no. Why you do this? All right. This is getting intense. We're going to have to go for uh, the push here. He's going to go for his push as well. Let's see if we can. Oh, my God. We might be able to pull a win here. Because he won't be able to kill me in time. <gasps> Boys. We're getting the win. We're getting the W. No way. Come on. One second. Let's go, dude. We got it. We somehow pulled through there. See, you just gotta go really offensive when you go against an Inferno Dragon. No, wait. Not Inferno Dragon. Even though we did go against Inferno Dragon. When you go against a Lava Hound. Because they, they go really slow. They're very intimidating. They're very powerful. But if they get to your tower, you just gotta push the other lane or, or the same lane. You, gotta, you just gotta go for it. Especially when there's that much time left in the game. You gotta get their tower before they get yours. Because once they're on the roll, you're done for. So, that was really good. That was awesome. Let's jump into another game and see if we can pull it. Wait a minute. Guys, look at the highest trophies. We just broke the new highest trophy count on my account. 35, 43, that is absolutely insane. You heard it here first, live, on my Let's Play, <laughs> while I'm very sick. <laughs> Let's jump into another match before I start dying. Alright, you guys, we are going against Ritz. Hi. Uh, yeah. Something like that. From Dermanschaft. I don't know what that is. Okay, he's going right off the bat with a, uh, whatchamacallum. Oh, wait. Blah. Go, go, go. Oh, okay. Dang, I wish I'm a bomber. <laughs> Usually I put the bomber behind my giant skeleton, and it works a lot better. Oh, yeah, he's going to actually defend that really well. He put the elixir from down really quick, so I thought I could pull a uh, sneaky one on him, but obviously I didn't. He's going he's gonna to come at me with a counter push right here, so let's see what he's got for me. Uh, might be a royal giant. Usually ice spirit, ice wizards go with royal giants. No, he's good. He's gonna play. Ch oh, he's got that though. Okay, see, my we need to cycle back. We need to cycle back to my giant skeleton. My giant skeleton is a beast against the peck. Oh, he's got a mini peck too. He's crazy. Okay, he just used the uh, the minion horde though, so we could probably let's do this. We gotta do this. We gotta use the minion horde, and he's gonna have to counter it. So let's just get the giant skeleton ready. Is he gonna be ready in time? I hope so. No, it's not going to be ready in time. Oh, we just got to use the barbs. We got to do it. We got to do it. We're going to ignore that, uh, whatchamacallum. Damn, rip. Rip in the chat. No, the peck is on my tower. Please kill it before he gets another hit off. Oh, yes. Okay. He didn't get, he didn't get three. He got two, but he didn't get three. And uh, I'm sure he's going to drop another elixir pump down. So let's get our hog and ice spirit ready. That's my, that's basically my, uh, uh, my push for when I have a really slow, um, what am I saying? When I have not much elixir, uh, it works really well because you can get two shots like that. It's very, very nice. All right, let's just do this because I really... Oh, no. actually, that's okay because he's going for a different tower, so it's fine that he gets some damage on it. We just we need to uh, make sure we don't lose 
uh, uh, elixir trades. We really need to make sure we uh, get positive elixir trades because we are in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> All right, <coughs> like, uh, like I said, the giant skeleton is very, very good uh, against the Pekka, but we really need to make a push on this left lane. So we need the Pekka, or not? What? Not the Pekka. We need this guy. Uh, so we're gonna make a big. Oh, he's a poison. Okay. We're just gonna have to go for this now. Uh, the thing is, though, is that if I can get my giant skeleton over to the freaking... Oh, I'm not going to. Alright, wait. Oh, perfect! He put his freaking uh, wizard down right there. That's perfect for me. Um, Yeah, that's gonna kill them all. Nice. Alright, let's keep pushing. We can do this. Oh, yeah, he's scared, dude. He's so scared. Let's just push it. Oh, no, no, no. Chill. Like, we gotta just keep putting arrows and stuff on him. That's gonna kill everything. Okay, it didn't kill everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's just do this. Let's put this down, and this guy, and then, yeah, he's angry. He's angry! He, oh, yeah, I didn't even notice he had the both Ice Spirit and, uh, what am I saying? Ice Wizard and uh, Normal Wizard. That's kind of cool. It's a cool uh, pair. All right, they're going to do a decent bit of damage. We should be fine. You see how he's putting his P.E.K.K.A. right in front of the tower? He really, he's afraid of my uh, my pushes, because he no look at that, too, and he puts that down as well. So here we go. This is what we're going to do. We're going to put this down. And we're going to jump the bridge. He's going He's going right, though. He's being a savage. We're going to be savage, too. He's going for it. And so are we. Who's going to pull through? He's got a lot of troops on my thing, and I have a lot of troops on his. Go for it. We got it. Let's go. Sorry, that was a little intense. But we got that barely at. 149. We barely pulled that win. That was crazy. Um... Yeah, I think that's going to be it for the video, you guys. We pulled two wins in this video. It's really hard up here uh, at Legendary Arena, like right in the middle uh, before you get to the, the top rank people, which is 4,000. So uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm having a ton of fun with Clash Royale recently. And uh, we'll be able to hit level 10 uh, in a few more videos, I'm sure, because I'm of, of course I'll play off camera. But uh, that was a ton of fun. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, that freaking medicine is disgusting that I drank in the beginning. It is... Uh, hitting me in the stomach right now. I hope you guys uh, would like to see more of this. I really enjoy uh, Just be, please be sure to drop a like Comment some feedback uh, if you've seen a lot of Clash Royale YouTubers and you uh, See something that they do see some things that they do that uh, I could improve on uh, That uh, I'm just not doing my videos. Just let me know because I'd really like to improve my Clash Royale videos uh, Because I am new to the whole mobile uh, recording stuff because <clears throat> I always record on console and uh, PC sometimes so anyways you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it I will talk to you all in the next one as always uh, deuces